Hello everyone. Today I want to share a sketchbook I completed. Um, this is a Stillman and Byrne Zeta series uh, sketchbook that is uh, three and a half by five and a half inch, uh, kind of really pocket size. Um, it's a terrific sketchbook that I really enjoyed quite a bit. For this one I used, um, I crowdsourced some words. I wanted to draw um, based on what came to mind uh, reflecting on these and I, I asked a number of friends and family um, what are some things you'd like me to to put on paper and so this is the list that uh, I developed based off of that I did start it in June 2022 I had plans of finishing it up um, within a couple months but that <laughs> didn't really happen it stretched out a little bit uh, anyways uh, here Here's where I started. I started with the word restoration um, and strength. I love to draw portraits, and so um, this is an example of, of some portraits I, I, I like to do in pen and ink and in acrylic. Um, third word, redemption. Um, I had just finished a, a TV series that was really good and um, felt that word fit real well with the character in the show. Uh, the next one is monstrous. Um, I wanted to draw a dragon, so I thought, hey, why not give it a shot? And then I got another idea along with that was um, kind of a take on Medusa, except to reverse it, um, have human heads count, come out of a snake. A little weird, but hey, fun to, fun to work that out on paper. Uh, the next one is empathy. Um, I work as a special education preschool teacher. Um, I get to see empathy on a daily basis. It's really something that, um, you know, that I think uh, guides what I do. Um, and I, I pulled a poem that uh, I really enjoy that uh, is written by Heather Swan. So that's for empathy. Uh, the next one is outdoor. Um, my sons love to run track. Uh, this is my middle son. And so I just wanted to play around a little bit in watercolor and blur it up a little bit but still give that form and, and shape um, and you can see that the uh, running in that um, serendipity um, some teacher friends um, and let's see compassion here again poet Albert Rios just some words that just kind of connect with that I'm I'm not too keen on the drawing right here um, I would have done it differently if I had to redo it but hey it's a sketchbook work out my ideas uh, the next one is confidence. Um, I love basketball. Um, I think <laughs> this picture portrays someone who has a lot of confidence on the basketball court. Uh, the next one is eccentric. I think peacocks are eccentric. Just wanted to draw, I guess, the portrait version of a peacock. <laughs> um, resourceful. Uh, I'm a teacher, and so one of the first things that I thought about was, hey, teachers are resourceful. So this was taken from a picture I had in one of my classes, and I've had a number of people I've been able to work with, other teachers and therapists, and this was an example of that. Um, Serenity. Um, those are the Colorado skies. We took a trip out there, and one day it was just, uh, just was really serene. Uh, beauty. That's me and my daughter walking around. I uh, wanted to play with some colors, have fun with that. Uh, the next one is Wonder. Uh, wonder is a big part of, um, I think, what I, I try to create on paper. And uh, this is something that I played around with a little bit. Um, <laughs> this is not one that's connected to any word, but it's one of my favorite picture books. Uh, being an early child special ed teacher, I get to read a lot of good picture books. And this is the one called Tough Boris by Mem Fox, one of my favorites. Um, let's see, exuberance. Um, I feel like tigers are exuberant just because they're coloring, their size. They just kind of stand out as an animal, among many others. Um, let's see, um, that's a wild hollycock. I don't remember why I did that, but sketchbooks are made to have things in there that maybe you don't quite remember why you did it, but in the moment, it was pretty cool. Uh, hope. Um, and then quoting a poet again. Um, I use poems and poetry um, as a real, uh, as a thing that uh, gives me a lot of inspiration. 
Number 17, praise. Um, this is me and my daughter again. Uh, we're out, this is in Idaho, um, by the Idaho Falls, um, overlooking that. And I just, the words that popped in my mind were words that build up, sink in. I just like the action of those words, like building up, sinking in. Um, it just It just kind of popped in my head and wanted to write that down. Um, let's see. Shock and awe. I thought butterflies and collage. Uh, just an interesting way to, to put things in there. The art of unpressionism. Um, just playing around with some, some ideas. Uh, this is one of my favorite entries right here. Uh, this one right here. Um, oh, you know what? I redid the word hope again because I felt like um, the words that I had come up with right here really, really spoke to that. And hope comes to us in our folds and creases, nestles in the soft part of us. When we unfurl, we still feel its weight and carry that with us. So this is my oldest son, Xavier. Uh, this is Atos, uh, a dog that we like to watch, a friend's dog. And um, him sitting um, on my son, uh, Xavier, and, and kind of nestling in made me think, hey, this is pretty cool. Let's see this next one. Uh, patience. Ha <laughs> Back to teaching again. Teaching is recognizing the patient enterprise of learning. This is one of my students in my classroom. Um, and this is from Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Uh, let's see. Shame. Uh, going back to portraiture, I think it's always cool to represent different emotions. And this was one that I hadn't done before. So that that's where that came in. This was done in pencil. Uh, let's see. A good place for a hammock. That was the prompt. I love that prompt. Going back to teaching and, um, and uh, let's see. In picture books, um, one of my favorite characters from picture books, Caps for Sale, um, The Peddler, and then um, Frog and Toad, awesome series. So I thought, you know, put a little hammock between these two trees it would be really pretty cool. All right, the next one is prompt, uh, just books that I'm reading. Um, a lot of prompts come from what I read. Let's see, uh, this one I really liked a whole bunch too. Um, was it unseen? Unseen was the word. Uh, this is a National Geographic. Um, there was a picture of a National Geographic steel worker that I really liked the shape of it. And I thought, why not overlay it or incorporate it into a heart? And so the hard work of the heart is often unseen. Um, so that's just kind of two ideas melding into one. I thought that that worked out pretty well. Let's see. Uh, number 24, creativity, the winning point in a volley of ideas. Uh, ping pong. Gotta love my, gotta love some ping pong. Uh, this one next was brilliant. Um, the way my wife cooks breakfast is brilliant or cooks just period. Um, and so that's something I wanted to portray there. I was trying to do the hands a little bit better. Um, it's not my best drawing in here, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of the idea and I can probably revisit it another time. Uh, let's see. This one was sound. Uh, I love the band Gojira, French metal band. I like a lot of loud music. So, um, and this is a pose that just, it's just really cool to play with. I've been saying cool a lot. So, um, <laughs> it's probably just on the spot. This is a one take video. So just what's coming to mind first. Uh, this one is practice. Um, I use skulls as a practice to draw things ideas, shading, form. There's a lot you can get from drawing skulls. And so that's where the word practice comes in. Let's see. Fresh. Uh, one of my favorite shows on TV is Reservoir Dogs. Um, Reservation Dogs. Why did I say Reservoir? Um, anyways, this uh, was a scene in um, that was very touching. Actually, probably made me cry. And I just wanted to portray it there. Um, Let's see. Happy dance. Oh yeah. Happy dance. The happy dance of a bee. Uh, that's something I like to watch. And I usually takes a lot, take a lot of pictures of bees, even though I'm not, don't try to get too close. Let's see. Mediate, uh, more skulls. And I thought, uh, putting two, um, uh, two skulls on the outside, different colors. And then when they meet together, 
Um, it's they kind of blend a little bit. I don't know if I pulled that off really well, but I'll revisit that. Let's see, where else am I going with this? Uh, the bar-tailed godwit. This was for perseverance. Uh, this bird flies over 8,000 miles at a time, which is just bonkers. Um, so I thought, hmm, perseverance, that's a pretty good app description. Um, prompt number 33 was Lord. I went with Lord of the Rings. So many cool visuals from that book. So that's, that's where that went. Um, let's see which one. Enough. This was the last... Um, suggested word and I want to do something different um, and I just like the juxtapos juxtaposition of ideas I don't know how well it portrays enough but at the same time <laughs> it's just something I wanted to create it's my sketchbook so that's where it's at a little bit of collage too I love throwing in some collage all right, um, that's just an extra drawing, my son playing chess. We've been doing that a lot recently, so I wanted to fill that page. There's the word list, the people that had suggested so that I could uh, go back and, and share what I had done with them. And um, that wraps this sketchbook up. Again, I want to show you. It is a Stillman & Byrne Premium Sketchbook. Good for a, a whole lot of different techniques and styles and um, media. It really, it really um, enhances uh, that creativity, helps me out, and uh, keeps me going, keeps me drawing, and that's that's a huge thing um, in my busy life. All right, I'm glad to share this with you. Please comment if you have anything to share, and lo I look forward to sharing some more work with you. Thank you very much.